If you're interested in dry stone walling, the best thing to do first of all is book yourself on a taster course. And from there you can tell, you know, whether it's for you or whether it's not. It gives you an idea of how physical it is. That's the biggest shock for most people, you know, because you're lifting two or three tonne of stone a day, as in taking it down and building it up. If you enjoy it, you got a love for it, then book onto a level one. This is a 10 day course and what you're doing is learning the basics of how to build a traditional dry stone wall. What we're looking for is a good strong structure, something that's going to sit there and stand for many years to come. Obviously there's a, a technique to it, you know, that's why we're here to learn the basics of it and then I'm sure as with everything, with experience and practice, it becomes easier. Level one is two and a half square metres which you have to take down and put up in a, a seven hour period and generally most people achieve that with a week or ten days tuition. Watching Phil, it's like a master at work, he just flips a stone round, finds it fits in the right place. Obviously that's all experience and his knowledge and guidance that's showing through. I'm a, a trainee with the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority and I'm really enjoying it. It's very calming, therapeutic, you get a bit of the creative brain and it's really satisfying when you get the final piece in place. I'm going to do the level one qualification now and I reckon I'm going to go and do the level two because that gives you more skill in like going around corners and building features and things rather than just doing a, a wall in a field. I won't be becoming a master craftsman waller, but it will be an essential skill for all the work that I plan to do within conservation in the future. There's dry stone walls all around this area, so I'm sure I can put my skills to good use. I enjoy it. The stress levels come down and, and I enjoy it for that reason as well. It's a very satisfying job because when you go home at the end of the day, that piece of work that you've done should be there for many years to come and you know, you can come back and look at it and think, yeah, I did that. <laughs>